What is going on YouTube the assist man and in this video I'm bringing you another clash of clans gameplay, but this one is more tutorial based so on and what we're gonna be going on or going over in this video is how to actually loot with the perfect troop composition and how to find the most elixir and gold when you're looting a base now You've probably seen some of my other videos because mostly what I do is I use the same thing but I'm going to tell you if you haven't watched my other videos about Clash of Clans. The main two troops you want to use when you're just looting and farming and looking to just go ahead and get as much elixir and gold as you possibly can is goblins and archers. You want to use goblins and archers and the spells you want to take with you are lightning spells and that's all you want to use. Now. Another thing I want to show you is how to know if there's elixir and gold in pumps or if it's in the storages. You see, on my base, as you can look at my pumps right now, like for instance this gold mine right here, there's no gold in this gold mine. And the way you can tell is because only the gold is in the basket that's coming out. When you look at gold mines and you want to see if there's a lot of gold in them, you want to go ahead and look for ones that have gold in the little wooden right square thing and gold inside of the barrel itself. Same thing with the elixir pumps. You want to go ahead and look to see if the elixir pump is full and you could do that by zooming in. If you could see the bottom of the elixir pump, then that means all of the elixir is inside of the storages. Now I'm going to do a replay here of a loot I had where I used 109 archers, 80 something goblins and you could see where I'm talking about right here. You see how the gold in the gold mines is showing in both of the, uh, the storages facilities outside of the gold mines. And if you look at the elixir pumps, you could see the elixir itself is built all the way up to the top. Now those are the type of bases you want to hit because look at how much I'm getting already. I've only used a couple archers and a few goblins and I've already gotten 87,000 and 31,000 and all the rest of it is inside of the pumps. So when you're attacking bases, the best thing you can do is use archers and goblins. The reason why is the goblins are going to do two times damage to the actual storage devices and pumps. So you'll be able to take those out extremely quick and the higher the level of your goblins and archers the better. Mine are currently level 5 and they do um, an amazing amount of work. They just decimate. And you want to use archers so you can go ahead and pick off pumps that are inside of walls on the outside like I'm doing right now. And you also want to use archers so you can destroy town halls if they're sitting on the outside or destroy a whole bunch of army camps and barracks and wherever else is on the map so you can try to go ahead and get a 50% one star. But definitely the best way to loot and farm on this game is by using goblins and archers. You don't have to take any specific amount, that's all I build up. And usually when I come into, um, come into battle, I have around 80 to 100 goblins and 80 to 100 um, archers, like of each type. Sometimes I'll have 120 archers and 80 goblins. Other times I'll have 115 archers and 85 goblins. You'll never know. But it'll be right around that vicinity. And you want to take lightning spells with you because what lightning spells are good to be used for is destroying wizard towers that you might need to destroy wizard towers to get some of the loot. And they're also good for destroying mortars. Or if you like to, you can use your lightning spells on sniping and taking people's dark elixir happens all the time it's part of the game you just got to deal with it do i do it absolutely if there's a lot of dark elixir i'm hitting you with lightning spells to get it it's part of the game it's in the game so it's something we have to do you don't have to some people frown upon it some people like to do it but in the long run everybody does it even if they don't show it on camera and show it on video everybody does it so now I go back to my army bases, I make all my goblins, I make all my, my uh, archers, and I constantly go ahead and do the same exact thing. So if you're looking to get the most loot, and the most, um, well I say the most loot, and farming in the fastest possible way, you want to use archers and goblins. They train very, very fast, so you constantly will have an army full of them in about 20 minutes. They do the most damage to the elixir and the gold. And you also want to make sure that you go ahead and look for pumps. You want to make sure that when you're looting, you look for the gold and elixir that is in the pumps. The more of it that's in the pumps, the easier it is to get. And the way to look for that is look to see if the pumps are full of elixir, if the pink is all the way up to the top, and look to see if the gold is just gushing out of the gold mines and there's gold sitting all over the ground around the gold mines. If you can do that, you'll be able to get as much elixir and as much gold as you possibly can. It might take you, you know, a whole bunch of tries hitting next and next to go through to different bases to try to find people that have a lot of elixir and gold in their mines, but trust me, you will. I usually find at least two per hour that I hit and I get a ton of elixir and gold. So if you guys enjoyed this video, 
And if I helped you out, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up like. If you have not subscribed to my channel, man, go ahead and subscribe. Check out my other videos and tell your friends about me. Leave a comment. Let me know if this is something that you, con that you already do, something you constantly do, or if it's something you're going to start trying to do. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man, and like always, I am out.